All right, so I've had a chance to look at this clip a lot because the game wasn't broadcast. Whatever, I get it. Ransom the seats, get butts in seats. But anyways, this clip was available, and I've watched it a lot of times at this point. Why? Because the first time I saw it, it was a great goal. The second time I saw it, I saw some really heads-up plays. And the third and the fourth and the double digits times that I've seen it since then, it's actually really impressive. There's a good hockey IQ going on right here, and everybody seems to be buying into this idea of touch the puck first and compete for it. So let's start it off by playing a pass from Big Z to nobody. Wirkosh would have been over there, but Wirkosh wasn't. So he got the puck, and right about here, he's looking around. He's got options. What he's really waiting for at this point is number 17 to get his little butt off the ice. That's Sislo up there in the corner, right there. And then what he's got over here, though, is he's got Big Z, which would be a good safe pass. He could just make that pass right there, and that would be a good hockey play. But he's got other ideas. Why? Because as soon as 17 gets his butt off, Number 24 is over here licking his chops. He has been watching. He knows what's going on. He's ready to make the play right now. And Weirkosh sees him and sends the puck to him before anything even goes down. Let's watch. Passes on its way before it ever gets over to Renee Bork. Now, Renee Bork is looking around, and he knows that he has a couple of guys out there. He has A.J. Greer, number 46, right there, and he has Grigo right here. He's not going to make that big, long pass across the ice, but what he is going to do is try to catch where... Greer is going to go, and Greer is watching his stick. If I play this forward and backward just a little bit, you'll see that that stick starts off in the backhand. He could make it, but as soon as he lifts it up, Greer knows where he's going. Everyone knows where he's going. All he has to do is beat the opposition to the puck. So there goes the puck. You can see that Grigo is still on sides. And now we go to the part that's really impressive to me. I mean, there was a lot of good hockey IQ going on, but right here is just pure compete. So as I play this forward step by step... Greer has to make a move on that puck, and it comes down to a samurai sword fight right here. You can see the sticks flying around, samurai sword fight, that Greer wins. Greer also knows that he has to get that pass over, so he has just a half second to collect it before number three gets out of position trying to kill him, puts a shoulder on him. Meanwhile, the puck's going to Grigo, who is in the slot, and all he really has to do is open the hands, fake with the foot and the head, and then it's all hands from there. That's impressive, folks.